Hey guys, it's Gigi. Wait, is this thing on? Yes. Welcome back to my channel. I did a video about a month ago and I was trying on clothes that work with being untucked. If you are unfamiliar with my untucking journey, you have a lot to catch up on. I'll let you go back to my channel and catch up on the videos. <laughs> but I got such a great response from you guys that I thought that I would just bring you back into my closet and we would try on more clothes that have been working for me, more styles that cater to being untucked. As I've said before, I feel like having a tucking panty and just getting that feminine shape down there really was like my security blanket for so many years, so many years. And I finally feel at a point where I'm free from that because there's so many styles, there's so many outfits that you can wear while being untucked. Just hearing your guys' response from just being like, I've always felt bound to my gaff or my tucking panty or whatever has just been so amazing and so freeing. But I will say at the beginning of my untucking journey, I was so depressed, I was so upset. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to wear literally anything. I'm gonna have to be in baggy jeans, baggy sweatpants all the time, but it's not true. True. It's not that big of a deal. You can judge it. You can make it cute, of course, to enhance sperm count, which is like totally a different video, <laughs> which I have recorded plenty of. You can't have anything super, super tight, tight, tight to the body. So it's all about the material. I've noticed that I can wear clothes that are really, really tight and really form fitting, but the material and the fit of it really does matter. For example, like a bandage, like Hervé Leger dress, not the tee. Every little ripple, every little dimple is going to show, but a dress that's more of like a cotton blend or something may have a little bit more give so it's not going to be as snatched but it's still going to give you some shape which we all know I love showing my body <laughs> I don't know how else to put it and I also have another little secret to share I have never really been into thrifting I see everybody doing these videos the pants are from H&M the top is Chanel the bag is thrifted and I'm like what does that mean is it a store is it like a color is thrifting like a cult but no it just means bought secondhand or slightly used. So in fact, I actually have been a thrifter. I have thrifted stuff. I think back in the day, I used to be the kind of girl that was like, I need everything new. I need to just go in the store and buy it like fresh off the rack. It just needs to be like the first owner needs to be me. But I think now getting older, it's really kind of fun to know that a jacket or a dress or a great top has had like a previous life. And I think that that's just so endearing. Whereas I felt like before I would have felt like it was like creepy. Like I'm owning someone else's stuff, but I really do feel like it's just so cool being like, oh my God, like this was resold and now it's like living a life through me. And like, maybe I'll resell it. Somebody else is gonna have this great piece that made me feel good. I don't know why I did this when I said great piece. <laughs> I'm gonna have this great piece. Like I'm wearing a breastplate. <laughs> Honestly, I probably did that just because I haven't worn a bra in like so long. So feeling myself. But anyways, moving on. Everything in this video is from a website called Thread Up. And thank you so much, Thread Up, for sponsoring today's video. Everything is thrifted. I am so excited to try everything on. I've tried on a few pieces, I won't lie, but there are four, I believe, that I haven't. And that's something else about thrifting or secondhand. It can be so overwhelming. And having a website where you can literally just like chill in bed post up on your laptop and just swipe through pages, swipe through brands. You really are looking for like an Alexander McQueen moment or like um, a Victoria Beckham or an Acne Studios or Margella, BCBG, Max Azria. Like you can literally click a tab, put your sizes in and scroll and it's just so easy. So that's another plus if you're not one to like shuffle through racks actually in store, which I know a lot of thrifters actually like doing, but personally, I do not. I'm a very visual person. I need to see it on a model unless I like have somebody there that's like a pro that will like guide me through. I prefer online. Also, the beauty of buying something secondhand is every single time I do, I save enough energy to watch two TV shows, which if you think about it, we're all binging shows all the time and it just is crazy to think, why aren't we buying more secondhand? And you know me, I hooked it up, Avi. Shop my picks with my link below or use my code Gigi for an additional 40% off your first order. You're welcome. Oh, this hair. Not ripping, not ripping, $10 a cuticle. Without further ado, let's try some clothes on. I'm so excited. Let's go. Okay, so this first one is probably the most risque when it comes to the tucking scene, but I thought I would give it a try just to show you that it is possible. I don't like a bulge of any sort showing, but when I purchased this, I was like, okay, there's definitely gonna be a bulge, but like, we'll just see, but there's not. So look, 
So the dress is supposed to be like down here. It's like a little beach cover up moment. Oh, and I already got spray tan on it. That's great. But I zhuzhed it up to make it a little bit more wrinkly and a little bit more forgiving in that region. Also, this brand is called We Wore What. It's a size medium. I love this cream. I think it's so pretty. It's giving bathing suit cover up, but like not really because it's so thick. Like I have a black one piece bodysuit under this right now that I could show you after. But I feel like if you're on the beach, it's going to get wet and then you'll be able to. I just thought this was so cute. And I paired it with some clear heels just to give it that whole nude aesthetic since I'm heavily spray tan right now. <laughs> and I feel like this one's gonna be like a staple in my wardrobe for like summer and stuff. It just fits really well. It's really comfortable and it was really inexpensive because it was from ThreadUp. Before I change, this is how black the bathing suit was underneath that dress. Just so you know how opaque it is if you choose to order it. Super, super black. If the dress was wet, you'd probably see a lot more, but this is the vibe. Next outfit. You know this is absolutely, I hate it, but isn't it just giving darling? Ah, I feel like I'm in Hairspray the Musical. Is this is like giving 60s mod. Realistically, this is giving like going to Beverly Hills lunch vibes with like my mother-in-law or like, you know, something like really, really cute. Or it's giving bikini beach all the way. I just paired it with these chunky white shoes and this white belt because I just felt it was very like mod. I would wear my hair down because I do feel like this is not the most flattering, but the dress is from a brand called Aqua, A-Q-U-A, in a size small, and I love it. Love it. And obviously in favor of the no tucking direction of today's video. Next outfit. Okay, this one I am very, very excited for. So this one is extremely friendly when it comes to the region. And when I tell you, it is so much more comfortable, so much more stretchy and soft in person than I thought it would be. It's not an exaggeration. Look how beautiful this lays. Like, I just feel like this is like the color, the vibe, the fabric for my body right now at this stage in my life. I'm just obsessed. Technically, there's supposed to be another little snap here, but I thought that it was kind of cute lower. I just love the way this hits. I love the feeling of of it. I love that it's McQueen <laughs> and that I bought it for only $298.99 rather than $1,745, which is 82% off on Thread Up. I just love this color. It's like an indigo navy. It's giving, I am the CEO of this company and you are fired. We don't really see you in our future. You suck at your job. You wear the wrong clothes. A lot of people here don't like you. You smell. Get out of my office. That's how I feel in this dress. All right, next outfit. This next one is tough for me because I love it, but it is a little risque down there. Not to say it's not a beautiful dress. I feel so pretty in it. I love the color. I love it on my skin and my hair with my eyes. But girl, I'm kind of gagging. So I'm going to have to finesse a little bit just for this one, just for the video. But here's like the general consensus. It's a little thin. Also, weirdly, I'm getting very like 2015 Gigi, like running around. I know I did a red carpet literally in a dress just like this color, but I think it's really pretty. Nonetheless, this dress is Catherine Melandrino and it was $20.79, that's it. Whereas if you were to buy it on retail, it would be $423, which is a 92% savings. It just blows my mind, like why not buy secondhand, saving the planet and saving so much money. Oh, I love this blue. I can't wait till I can tuck again. Two more. This one is a beach cover-up. I will not be showing you the bottom. <laughs> one of the downsides of having ADHD when you buy online, you just are like, yes, 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 yes. I should have seen that it was a romper, but it's gonna be so pretty in the future. Like for this summer, I just love this color maroon. This mesh is gorgeous. Please give me all of your thoughts. I love the lace detailing. I think it's so, so beautiful. And paired with like some annoying sunglasses like these, like, can I have another mimosa please, sir? They're like, no, you're cut off, ma'am. You've had eight. Definitely gonna be taking this on my travels this summer, going to Portugal and Madrid. I think this would look so, so cute there by the water. Bitch, I don't know if I said this in my last try on, but like, it gets hot. I'm hot in like changing rooms getting ready. My house is at a full like 66 right now and I'm like sweating, literally just changing outfits. And my hair is up. I feel bad for these e-commerce girls. Whew. All right, last look. Okay, if this isn't giving Charlize Theron, Marilyn Monroe, chic 
I know I said it was a spring haul. Did I say that? If not, that's what I meant to say. This was just a piece that was just speaking to me and I feel like I need so many more classics. I love a good color. I love a set. I love something that I just wear once, but having like a chic ribbed black turtleneck from Acne Studios is just like so cute to me. I don't know. I just feel so chic in this. I feel like I could take meetings in this. I feel like I can go put on a pair of jeans with this, a skirt, some heels. Like this is just such a chic staple. Bitch, especially with like the hair up moment. I just feel so like mature and grown up. Can you even see it? It's like ribbed really nice. And I really like it. I feel like I'm on the cover of like Marilyn and me. Like, mm. oh, happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> oh. And this piece was 80% off retail value. Usually something like this would go for $375 and I got it for $48.09, which, <sighs> Okay, that like actually hurt. <laughs> and I have another bruise on my hip. Oh, and it's in size extra small, by the way. I had a feeling from the website that it was gonna be like this and I'm happy that it is because it's like a little tiny bit cropped. Like I can wear like low rise black leather pants or something like that and show like a little bit of skin just so it's like showing just like an inch of stomach coming through like, oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm going to a meeting, then another meeting, then a photo shoot. You? Oh, nothing? That's what I thought. <laughs> Who knew a turtleneck could do such a thing? Anyways, love it. I think this is one of my honest favorite pieces that I got from this haul. I'll be using it a lot. Definitely visiting somewhere cold, not this summer for sure, but this is just such a cute staple. So in need of a lint roller. Probably should have done that before. But yeah, those were all of the clothing items today. I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, so please let me know which one of the outfits was your favorite and why. And also if you enjoy these videos, I really enjoy doing them. I think I've never really been like trying on fashion on the regular on my channel, but I think it's really fun. I don't know, I just feel like a Barbie dressing up and that's literally how I feel in my everyday life. So I'm like, why haven't I been doing this already? Thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video and you guys can shop all of the picks that I've chosen in my link below and use code GG at checkout for an extra 40% off. I love you guys so much and until I see you in my next video, stay gorgeous.